What is going on, lunatic fringe guys? We got a big burn. 1.7 billion burned from Binance. Now, let's add this up and let's kind of get an idea here because this is a huge amount by comparison to what we've been doing before. I'm going to show it to you. If you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button on your way in. Let's go, baby. Okay, so check this out. We've burned 3.1 billion in the last seven days and that was because uh, yesterday on December 1st, we got the first burn from Binance of the month. Uh, we don't know if there's going to be additional, and, and I say the first because we've had additional burns that have kind of popped up on the Binance radar, but uh, they burned $1.7 in a single transaction, which means volume has picked up. And by the way, when you start to do the math on that, it's actually it's picked up exponentially. Now, the other thing is we've got another one over here for a billion that happened. We really don't know where that came from, but uh, that happened. Uh, so tomorrow we'll see the same thing. We'll see $3 billion, uh, that have been burned over this period of time. And then that $1 billion is going to fall off. But when we look at this, this we haven't seen something like this. When we see the burns from Binance, we usually look at one point one to 1.3 every once in a while 1.4 billion but when we add that up with a uh, you know a few million every day we don't get a number like this so there's a lot more happening in this ecosystem and it's starting to coalesce into more significant burns now will that matter well that's complicated because i'm going to show you some data here and when you see the data that will probably make you look at it and be like, hmm, things that make you go, hmm, I don't know. We'll see what happens. But um, 3.1 billion burned over that period of time. And uh, USTC still, you know, we still got 141,000 yesterday. Good, but we need like 141 million. We need that big pop right there. We need something like what we saw over here when we got 264 million burn in a single day. And look, we're not getting some of the amounts that we think or that we believe we should be getting. And when you come over here and look, the other thing, 2.141 trillion. So over 10 billion uh, uh, Lunk has been moved over into a Binance hot wallet in the last little while. Uh, also, 1.84 billion uh, still in LFG, 290 million, still Terraform Labs. Don't know what's going on there. Now, I do think that, and I haven't read any updated court documents, but if they're being allowed until December in order to do some closures and some selling of some of the assets, that does mean that they've gotten some kind of extension. So I think along with that extension, unless, again, unless Happy Caddy Crypto is wrong about this wallet, and hasn't updated it, then that means that at least 290 million, by the way, Lunk Dash is Happy Caddy Crypto's website. So um, it, it, unless he's wrong, which I don't think that he is, or I don't have any reason to think that he is at this point, then we still have 290 million TFL holding on to that, you know, and, and that's just what we know. So, um, you know, let's see what happens uh, in the next little while. And, you know, as long as it's still here, then at some point we'll end up maybe blacklisting. I, you know, I don't know. But for right now, I mean, they're still sitting there. So uh, we're awaiting closure of that. Now, before we move on, guys, if you haven't already, go sign up for Terra Casino uh, Stretch Network Black Friday special up to 90% off. Uh, then uh, you've got Wild Spin sponsored by Terra Casino and Platypus and World Poker League giving away 2 million euros between now and December 22nd. And you can use every single crypto that you can possibly imagine that you use in this ecosystem. So what are you waiting for? Sign up today. Also, Pragmatic Play is now offering a daily cash drop of 11,000 in conjunction with Terra Casino uh, through January 5th. And um, it's, it's Christmas, bro. It's Christmas, so get in right now. Win yourself a little bit and have a good Christmas. Also, if you're trading meme coins, uh, make sure Terraport.finance is the place to go. And um, look, look, transaction the last 30 days, over a million dollars. Total liquidity, 880000 So uh, pick some of these. And guess what? When you come over here and look at what I've got going on with my wallet, and you can see here, food breaking out right now. Cat with Hat up pretty good. Uh, Juris up pretty good. Boys up pretty good. Garuda X continuing to soar. So we're starting to see a little bit of life. Now, it's not, you know, it's not gigantic moves. It's just consistent upward momentum and by the way that's coming because the market is suddenly shifting and 
People are downloading the Coinbase wallet. People are downloading um, uh, apps because they're looking for this bull run and they want to be part of it. And that's what you've been waiting for is retail coming back. So retail is coming back. We're almost at the end of this year and things are going to get a little bit crazy, I think, uh, at that time. So let's continue on. Now, the big article here is Terra Luna Classic Path to 980% Rally looks promising. What's a 980% Rally? 0.001. Uh, I can tell you that, just doing the math off of my head here. But Alan Santana, crypto uh, a crypto analyst, has provided a detailed analysis for um, Terra Classic. And what he gave was the 2618 Fibonacci extension from the last market cycle, uh, which puts it at uh, two zeros, one, four, six, eight, uh, determines the all-time high potential for Luna Classic. Now, um, what does that look like? Well, uh, I think what he's really doing is kind of moving out here on the weekly, which I think we've pretty much done the same thing over here. And uh, I'll do the poll on this and uh, I'll give you guys the, the kind of breakdown of what he's talking about here. We'll, uh, we'll remove this for that period of time. We're going to leave what I said is going to happen right there. But what we're doing is we're just drawing off of this right here and we're drawing all the way down to the bottom. And then the 2618, which is right here. See, that comes up to two zeros, 14,773. And I'm just eyeballing it right now. I'm not uh, I, it, I'm not doing it exactly. So uh, you can see where it comes from. And really, if you get a full-on breakout, then what you're talking about is the golden zone. The golden zone of Fibonacci is that 161.8% ratio right here, which is three zeros, nine, three, two, nine, two. Now, in the event that you get a supremely positive breakout, then it goes to the 261, uh, then it goes to the 36, and then it goes to the 42. So in the event that we get a perfect breakout, then this is what we're looking for as the next big move. And really what you're looking for is from right here to the top, you get a 60% breakout right there. That's your 61.8% above your top. That's uh, that that's the good breakout, but because it's crypto, could get a little bit crazier, right? 155% more. So there is a path forward for a massive sort of breakout, and using that fib retracement during that period of time will give it to you uh, what could potentially happen. Now, um, this right here is my next zone right there. No matter what, because that starts just a little bit of a volume trend right there. So what I'm thinking is there's going to be a breakout to that. The good folks at Cryptonomy.Finance are handing me incredible rewards. Let me show you what I'm about to earn. I put in 25 Solana. I'm about to earn 24 Solana on December 26th, the day after Christmas. Merry Christmas to me. Folks, it gets even better on February 10 of 2025, I'm going to earn 0.17 Bitcoin, currently valued a little bit over $11,000. Folks, I gave them Tether. I gave them 1670 I'm going to get 1336 as my reward. All you have to do is sign up at cryptonomy.finance and listen. The important piece, the important piece is the launch pool. If you set up a staking contract with this launch pool, you're going to get rewarded based on a 9x from Shieldium, based on a 6x from World of Dippians, a 5x from Kima Network, a 5x from RWA. These are significant yields being earned on a daily basis by this team. My first contract completed a while back on November 21, and I earned a total income of 168,000 481 of which my income off of this in a 50 50 split eighty four thousand two hundred and forty one dollars folks the bull run is here all you have to do is now sit back stake your crypto and earn rewards don't forget down in the description below are the links to the telegram the links to all of the socials including twitter links to information and news websites sponsored by cryptonomy.finance and article sites for myself and several other influencers so go check them out today kind of range now on the daily that's what we're familiar with let's look at what's going on in this range right now and let's pop that up on the big screen now what i told you guys is my opinion okay and let me clarify what i think is happening is i think we're going to range until the end of the year but i don't know for sure that that's going to happen what i think is going to happen 
is we're going to range for the year. Now, what I anticipated was this move right here, okay? Uh, and I was guessing, by the way, this is not even, this is no exact science, by the way. I'm just, I'm just making this shit up as I go, okay? But uh, what I think, and this, by the way, was because that's what happened in the last startup to the bull market after an election back in 2020 when Joe Biden won the election. And we we got a consolidation to the end of the year, and then boom, that's when we got the, the big breakout, right? So I would think that the same thing is going to happen. Now, it gets confusing because when you see capital re-entering the market, then what it looks like is it's going mostly to Bitcoin, and you're not getting uh, explosive moves from other stuff until just recently. Now you're getting Cardano breaking out, now you're getting XRP breaking out, now you're getting some of these older ones breaking out. But, you know, so this didn't happen the way that I said that it most probably would happen, but I still think it's going to be on the radar. Now, uh, the question would just be, could I move this up right here and say that that's probably what's going to end up happening right there. Now, that's actually a better consolidation than what I gave you before. What I gave you before was based on this little volume node that kind of wicks up over here that you can see. And so I think that we're in a, a really good space. See, that's where I gave you the volume note because that's the volume area, this volume range right here. So when we move this up here, that's a little more aggressive and that also means a bigger breakout. Now that bigger breakout, uh, if I zoom out here just a little bit more, then we get into this little range right here, this volume note, which I still think is on the radar again right there. Now, all of these things do require positivity in the market and cash flowing in, but here's the thing. Commonwealth has a very, very interesting um, post that's been made here, Classic Chaos, which is Lunkin USTC. This is a podcast. If you haven't, I suggest you subscribe to it. Uh, Classic Chaos Podcast. Um, the explanation of Lunar Crush metrics for non-technical readers. And Lunar Crush, uh, does, it does an alt rank, a galaxy score, engagements, mentions, creator sentiment, and social dominance. So Lunar Crush basically looks at each one of your cryptos and it says, you know, what is it, what is going on um, from a, a standpoint of um, community? What does the community look like and how does it react? So, uh, popularity and visibility says key observations, engagement. Lunas Lunk saw 292.19 million engagements recently, highlighting consistent community interaction. However, engagement fluctuates widely, peaking on new days and dropping on weekends. 1.36 million mentions reflect strong ongoing discussions, though they skew neutral or mildly positive. Positive sentiment has decreased to 82%, with neutral at 60%, suggesting skepticism creeping into the community. Now, you might be asking yourself, well, why is there skepticism creeping into the community? And listen, the, the whole market feels like it's exploding, right? It's because of Bitcoin. It's because of XRP. It's because of Cardano. It's because of just a few a few cryptos that have actually broken out that are that are starting to mint new highs but you're not seeing the same thing happening with luna classic and and the frustration because it's been two years now and we don't have a repeg so there's some honest discussion that we need to have about why people are frustrated that would be part of why because why hold your money in luna classic for a 10x or a 20x or even a 100x when other cryptos are doing it right now so uh, you might have also noticed the other day uh, there was a trillion, over a trillion uh, Luna Classic that were um, being staked and now there's under a trillion because we got price movement, we got positive momentum, and then with that positive momentum, that meant people uh, would then have the opportunity to sell. And that's really, uh, that, that's really what was going on is you know when you look at it from this context and you say, well, you know what, if I'm a buyer or if I'm willing to say at this point, this is my range right here. Well, you know, I'm up 155% from this dump down here in January if I DCA'd. So I'm up 155% right now. Uh, if I look at it from just the recent trend from November 1st to right now, and I bought a little bag back then, I'm down, I'm up 70%. Now, that's a good number, but, you know, when you come here and you look at XRP, XRP is going parabolic. It's up 5x. So that's what's happening right now. People are people who are not going to make it are not making it because they're going into other projects and they're doing the best that they can to try to find themselves and settle themselves into a spot. But that's, you know, look, people get nervous. So uh, that's what I think is happening. 
largely. But to continue on, uh, community strength is 400,093. Uh, unique creators discussing Lunk highlight inactive, if not overly optimistic community. Despite criticism, Lunk remains a conversation leader among mid-cap cryptos. Lunk engagement spikes on governance and burn-related announcements, showing community fixation on tokenomics over innovation. Negative sentiment often correlates with price declines and governance debates. Um, now, um, key observations. USTC recorded 72.73 million engagements, 500,000 mentions. So, you know, there's, um, um, these are, by the way, despite its association with the Terra collapse, USTC retains a loyal niche believing in a repeg reflecting inconsistency, positive sentiment spikes during new proposals. So, you know, basically what Lunar Crush is telling you is that there's still a lot of sentiment, but the sentiment is emotional. It's not based on what's being built in community. So that's what we're watching and looking at when we see um, what's happening right now. So if you're trading, then you should be looking at the burns. And what did you see? You saw a big spike when we had burns happening, right? Um, and, and look, the buildup, the, the lead in, uh, the fact that we keep getting these big spikes and burns causing positive price momentum. And is that part of the, the overall and broader market? Yeah, sure. But um, again, the sentiment is based on burns and governance. So that ceramic repeg, probably going to be a, a, a real uh, boon to this ecosystem once it becomes something that we can look at and say, yeah, I think that's actually going to happen right there. You know what I mean? So maybe we'll see a big spike happening uh, very, very soon with Luna Classic based on on that happening. By the way, uh, should be noted that I've had discussions with Leonardo. We'll probably be having uh, an interview for uh, with Leonardo regarding the ceramic proposal, and we'll probably get around to that very, very, very soon. Uh, as a matter of fact, he doesn't want to delay. He wants to get that out there so that people can start talking about it right now. So, um, as far as volume goes, uh, let's move on here. We're 97 million volume for the day. Uh, when you do that, again, Bitcoin, BTCC is the one that seems to have all the volume here. But Binance is still 24 million, and we'll take that any day. Um, also, uh, down 41%, but also remember Saturday and Sunday over the weekend. And by the way, uh, after the Saturday and Sunday weekend, we got a spike. We got a, a huge spike um, in 2020. So, I would suspect that we might get a spike today. We might get a little bit. And by the way, uh, when I woke up this morning, the market was down $82 billion. It's now down $20 billion as the U.S. market is coming online. So maybe, just maybe, the U.S. market is about to uh, eat big. So we'll see what happens there. Terra Casino, already mentioned it, but this month's payouts were $7 million from Terra Casino. That is absolutely crazy. Uh, guys, if you haven't already, uh, you've got to sign up for Terra Casino and just take a shot. Like, you don't have to. Look, I don't, I don't, I don't care if you win, okay? Uh, I care if you try, all right? Look, I and, and look, all you have to do is go over there and play. You might just win something. You might. You never know what's going to happen. So uh, give it a shot. Also, as far as burns go, uh, we've already discussed this, but this is what it looked like when, when you know, people started getting excited. A um, lot of burns happening over here. So uh, I have reached out, by the way, to CZ Binance and Leonardo, and I'm trying to get CZ on the show too so that he can discuss as well, you know, what he thinks is a, a relative path forward for Luna Classic and how best to navigate and, you know, his opinion uh, certainly matters to a lot of people. So I think it's worth uh, at least reaching out and seeing, you know, can we get his opinion on something, you know what I mean, and see what. So uh, that's it, guys. Um, if you haven't already, make sure, again, subscribe to the channel, uh, sign up for Terra Casino, go to terraport.finance, uh, trade some meme coins over there, do all the things that make this a thriving ecosystem. And guess what? becomes a thriving ecosystem and then we don't have reports like uh commonwealth showing us that you know everybody's just here for everybody here is just a hype monkey you know what i mean we're not uh we're not looking for innovation we're not looking for building in this ecosystem we're just looking for burns and governance proposals to try to rebuild the the ecosystem when we should be uh continuing to improve the ecosystem so uh and, and by the way there are a lot of things that are out there that are doing it and we talk about it here on the channel uh but uh, we have a limited reach. It's on you to share me with as many people as possible who can start seeing all of those benefits. So uh, that's it. It's not financial advice. I'm always right. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate each and every one of you, and we will talk to you again tomorrow.